I'm applying to do a PhD in cancer drug development at UNSW. I eventually would like to get into the commercial side of drug development. Having a PhD will expose me to many aspects of drug discovery and development that I wouldn't have had otherwise if I'd come straight out with honours or even if I'd just come straight out with my commerce degree. Having a PhD puts you in a different class as a researcher. It allows you to become a principal investigator. It allows you to apply for your own funding and to have your own lab. Some people have an idea that science PhDs are all about doing lab work and about finding cures for cancers, but my research has been focused on qualitative research where it's all been about talking with people and understanding their thought processes. When I started my PhD, uh, I had no idea what a PhD was or what I would end up writing, what I would end up researching, how much research I would have to do. So I really didn't have expectations and in some ways that's really let me be very fluid and flexible with how I've conducted my research. When I began my PhD, I thought it would be quite an isolating experience. It's been far more collaborative, so we work in a fantastic lab, so there are lots of PhD students around, and we can really draw on each other's skills to help improve everyone's research. I'd been working in public sector science for quite a few years um, after I left university the first time, and I got to a point in my career where, to advance further, I really needed to go back to university and do a PhD. Now at that time it wasn't something I was looking forward to enthusiastically but then having arrived uh, back at university I've realised what a luxury it is to really have that breathing space to think more deeply about your area of interest. But one of the challenges is it is only three years. It sounds like a long time but when it comes to the crunch the thesis still has to be delivered and that's really a lot more challenging than one might think at the outset. The big excitement about this research uh, is that these structures could be one day useful in building a quantum computer which could provide exponential speed ups and increases in computing power. It's really exciting when you can see in real time an electron hopping off and on an atom. We're really doing groundbreaking research that can't be done anywhere else in the world. It's really exciting to be conducting novel research and developing a program of research from the beginning that could really help people. I really like working in an area that has direct impact on society and the future of society. As you get more into your area of expertise, it becomes a thrill when you realise that you're working on questions that the experts out there don't necessarily have an answer for. I'm intrinsically fascinated by how drugs work in our body and the idea of being able to discover and develop new pharmaceuticals is really fascinating to me. There's something really fantastic about doing the science that you really enjoy and knowing that if it goes well, you can also help people in the process. The best bit about my PhD is enlightening people about who farmers actually are. The other thing that I have really enjoyed is teaching and tutoring undergraduate courses. It's been a great experience to improve my own communication skills and also instill a passion in undergraduate students for psychology and clinical psychology. One of the things that I've loved most about my PhD has been being able to get out there in the field and talk with farmers and talk with different people related to agriculture, related to natural resource management and just making those networks that will just be gold for my future and my career. So I've had the wonderful opportunity to travel overseas three times in the course of my PhD so far. To Italy, to France and to the United States, which has been a great opportunity to present my research and learn about what other people are doing, but also to network and get a better understanding of the global impact of this field. All of the travel and expenses are covered by the university and by the research group. One of the benefits that I found about doing a PhD is that it's taught me about the conduct of science, about the process of how to work efficiently, how to produce papers. And it's a, a privilege at a university to work with lots of very smart people who really are at the cutting edge of their fields. I'm really excited to finish my PhD, knowing that I'll be a different person by the end, and have also made a substantial contribution to the field. 
this stage I'm not 100% sure on what I'd like to do as a career and that's one of the reasons I have chosen to combine research and clinical training in my postgraduate studies. The dream would be to work in an organisation where I can do both but really contributing to this wealth of knowledge of new treatments and ways we can improve patient outcomes. I have seven weeks to go until I finish my PhD and finally submit the thesis and already I have work lined up for the week following. Overall the PhD experience has been so fulfilling and it's been foundational to my future. By focusing on my passions now and getting into sustainable agriculture, I think that I've really made a lot of connections and a lot of networks so that I can pursue this for my lifetime, so that's fantastic and I didn't know that that's where my PhD would take me and now in hindsight it's just invaluable.